What's up, YouTube? This be your boy, the King Scotty, and my counterpart, Miss Hello Kitty. And we're here to review the Real Housewives of Atlanta. It just went off just a couple of minutes ago, and we couldn't wait till tomorrow to do a review. We have to do it now. Because, baby, tonight's episode just. Oh, it's so many people who nominated for the Are You Fucking Serious Award. So has we have we made the decision? We, you know this this is eligible. I, you know, I'm I think gonna... there's for the first time in Housewives review history, there's a tie between. So Kim people can walk away with two awards, like I was saying. Yes, Kim and Peter. You have won the Are You Fucking Serious Award. For Both of you guys. Let's start with Krim, shall we? Okay. Krim. <laughs> I don't understand you. Who, who, how can you understand me? I already don't like you like that. I started, you know, this season I started to have some type of respect for you. I started to like you. But why are you getting upset because people are talking to Tracy? And then you had told Candy, that you, you, you know, when people even bring Tracy's name up, you get upset, you get offensive, you get like this, you get like that. What's the point? I mean, you had a point when Sheree was asking her questions about yeah, I can't, the personal like, life. Like, when we was watching, I had had mixed feelings. I didn't know. Like, she brought Tracy. So, of course, okay, that's like when they brought, when T Sheree brought Ty E around. And they were, and they, were at, they were asking him questions. Was she, was she there for that? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't understand her. She's just a, a, a irrelevant bitch, so I don't pay attention. But, but like, her bring Tracy, you know, Sheree is, or Nene, Nene didn't really ask because she had her own problems she didn't mm -hmm. But I just, but like, you knew somehow I was going to ask her some questions because you so on the down, on the hush hush about it. Maybe they were asking questions to be supportive friends of you. Yeah, it's like, it ain't like they were, now if they had a standing tool, she would have been bitching about, they was really treating Tracy wrong, da, 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 which is kind of weird to me because we seeing Tracy on this episode, but. Since this season started, all she been talking about was nothing but Big Pop. Big Pop it is. Big Pop it is. I'm, I'm, I'm so, so tired of Big Pop so, treating me like I'm, I'm like, tired of being you with You got already put the serious award and you're sharing it with Peter. Now, explain why Peter did uh, uh I ain't through with Kim yet. Uh, Let me get through with Kim. Yeah. First of all, you in the private screen talking shit about Sheree, even talking to Tracy, but yet you let Tracy get a Sheree call. Oh, he said, and, uh, but she was talking shit about Candy too. What she said? What she said? Glad we raised the kid's car, not mine. What the hell that's supposed to mean? It's like the more the show goes on, the more it shows how much of a shady friend you are. You was a shady friend to Nene. Now you become a shady friend to Ken. I just wish you get the cataracts and blood out of her eyes so she can see you. And Jan, their vocal coach, was just so shady. And I enjoyed it. She wasn't shady. She was, she was reading her on the slide. And it was hilarious. She's like... It sounds pretentious. Do you know what that word means? You're like... Oh, what, 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 what's the hold up? I was thinking, oh, you were, you were thinking. thinking. Congratulations. I was like, it was so fun. Just shitting on her. Just shitting on her. Go ahead. Let's get I'm, I'm waiting on you to talk about people. Okay. Um, that, oh, that's my cousin. Anywho, she wanted me to see some vlog or something. But I'm going to do it when I get video. But anywho, Peter, what is your beef with Nene? I already said in, in a previous blog that I felt like Nene had some type of crush on you or something. Mm -hmm. But she making it obvious that she got one now because she getting all upset because he's not talking to her. To be honest, I don't know. Let me stop being biased. I can't say that that's the reason, but if somebody just up and start talking to you out of the blue, you really gonna want to know what the problem is. And I understand that Peter got his own problems with his restaurant. He ain't making a lot of money. Da 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 da. But at the same time, what is your beef with Nene? And Cynthia, grow a fucking backbone. I like you and everything. You a beautiful woman, but you don't have no type of backbone. You don't want to talk to Nene that much because of the simple fact your husband got a problem with it. He ain't her husband. No. Well, he, yeah. He, he, he got all these little requests and demands. They ain't even married. They're just shacking together. And she was like, why like Nene said, every time she don't oh, let me call you back. Peter's walking in. Uh, 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 uh. Like, she afraid of him or something. Like, get a fucking backbone. Grow some balls. Do something. Scratch your pussy. Do something. I mean, damn. Get some type of damn... What I don't even know what the word I'm looking for. 
Just you can get a bay bone, pan trout bone or something. I mean, damn. Go to Captain D's. Get fish. Do trout? something. Huh? Pan trout don't have bay bones, do they? I don't know, but you get some money. You get some bones. Get, get a wish bone. Do something. I mean, she needs to do something. Like, seriously. I, don't, I, I, I can't stand a weak bitch. Sorry, Cynthia, but you're a weak bitch and you're nominated for the Are You Fucking Serious Award. You didn't get it, but she got nominated. <laughs> you better be lucky Peter and Kim did a lot of shit because if they did, or if they did, you were probably gonna Let, Let's talk about Sheree in this uh, acting. I am not supporting her on this at all. It's like, ain't you waiting a little too late for that? And two, you come into this brand fucking new. You're a beginner. You're in the basic level, yeah, yeah, and you act like, too high. And yeah, and you act like can't nobody tell you, man. Can't nobody give you advice. You don't know what you're doing. She nominated for all you fucking serious award too. <laughs> but like for real, I mean, just stick to your she by Sheree and being on. Mother to your kids because it's accurate for me. I don't see you doing nothing besides commercials. Or I might plays. see you on a JC Penney's commercial saying it's all beside JC Penney. I can see her doing plays. Or but like I can the, the little ghetto Atlanta play. play. Not even just ghetto. I can see her doing a Tyler Perry play. Or something. Well, she's gonna be one of the like one line of people because she got it. But Tyler work with people who don't have, don't have ego. Sheree got an ego out this world. She try to pull up on Tyler play. She might have her own makeup staff and da 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 da. Like I'm Team Sheree, but sometimes she goes a little bit too damn far with mm -hmm. her whole confidence thing. She needs to sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up sometimes. Right. You know what? You got if you want to nominate. You got the whole have a seat award. That's what you got. And Candy, stop being a sore loser in that drag race. You didn't win. Now I was watching the charade win. I'm not even gonna speak on that, Candy. <laughs> but I will be getting your album on December fourteenth. <laughs> Me and you. Uh uh. Uh uh. No. I'm about to leave you. That's my shit. I was bumping that day when I was going to um, Family Dollar. It was bumping. Anyway. Um, Phaedra. I'm so glad somebody shitted on you, literally. I am so glad somebody shitted on you. <laughs> I can't stand that fake bitch. No, did you see her when she almost dropped the baby because he pooped in her hand? Like, she is such an unfit mother. And don't get me wrong. Just because you have money, you have access to things, don't make you a fit mother. Like, she just, like I said last week, she a selfish ass bitch and she act like this baby is cramping her style. I slick want to dial my, get this phone, whatever my phone is, and dial DHS on her ass. Like, for real. I need to call DHS so they can come and take your child. I just don't understand. <laughs> I just don't understand, Phaedra. I really don't like you. I really don't like you now since I'm calling DHS. Oh, I got the answer machine. <laughs> but I will get back to DHS and let them know that you really need your ass pulled and get your child taken away from you. I just... Yeah. <laughs> I can't take this child seriously. Take who seriously? You. I didn't do shit. What I do? I'm just saying. Like seriously, somebody need to check that bitch. I can't stand. I don't live here. <laughs> I don't understand that pickle eating ass bitch. I can't stand Phaedra. Ugh, I hate. Ugh. Was she nominated for anything this week? I ain't gonna nominate that bitch. I ain't gonna nominate her. I ain't, I ain't gonna nominate her. I'm gonna cool down on Phaedra because she wasn't really on no episode. Really not. She wasn't even. Worthy. Worthy. She wasn't even in heavy rotation this damn episode. I mean, but oh, we, we, I got a feeling we're going to be coming for that ass next week. How she coming for to, Cynthia. Trying to come for Cynthia. something that Dwight plastic nose ass had to say. And you know what? Let me get on Dwight. <laughs> Bitch, let me tell you something. <laughs> you ain't shit. I hope you're watching. I hope you're watching. You ain't shit. I might not be shit either because I'm on YouTube. And I live an ordinary life, but bitch, you ain't worth it. You ain't shit with this fake ass nose that you can barely breathe out of. 
like you at the damn food stamp office. You know, Cynthia and Cam were making <laughs> comments about your baby. <laughs> Bitch, shut the fuck up. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't understand where he got the alien baby coming from because... When did Cynthia say that? Cynthia, Cynthia ain't saying shit. If anything, Kim says no. Kim was coming for Dwight like what two episodes ago? Yeah. And I think he was just standing there with a glass of wine. I don't remember her saying it. I gotta use your phone because Dwight need his ass for. I'm gonna call, call? call Reggie. <laughs> I hope he answers his phone. Reggie ain't home, but I will get back to him. And let him know that Dwight needs his ass whooped. Uh, Kelly, Kelly, that's why I got it from. Shout out to Kat and Kim! But anyway, you know what I'm saying? I can't stand Dwight. I can't stand him. And now since Nene ain't talking to him, he want to get still get a piece of the damn housewife's pie and hang out with Phaedra. Like she's some bitch to be around. Bitch, please. He might just be nominated for the award next, next the bitch fucking... Please, not, you know what? That's the award he won. He won. He won it already. And that's not even air yet. <laughs> you want the bitch please award with your damn fake nose having ass? It's like if he sneezes, it's gonna fall off. Oh, so fake. And we saw a very little of Nene. I don't remember much about Nene. But like she been trying to, you know, she been staying in the house, and I just felt so bad for her on last week's episode when she almost lost her job thanks to Greg. Mm-hmm. Well, grab them. Uh, uh. <laughs> mm-hmm. But um, as of now, you guys, I think we pretty much covered everything. But I can't wait till next um week. next week's episode. And I'm still sitting here waiting for this little dinner when Kim and Phaedra get into it. When Phaedra talk about Big Papa being in foreclosure, and then she starts talking about Apollo being a, a ex convict and all that stuff. I just can't wait to all that. I can't. Next week's episode. Is it? I don't know. I, I, uh, uh-uh, it's not. It's not. I'm gonna have, I'm to have a, me a glass of wine. It's, it. it's gonna be on in the coming. It should be coming in the coming week. Cause from what I hear, the housewives gonna be on till January. So we got a while before we see it. But oh, Charles, it's like, oh, I'm gonna give you some mascara for them. Wow, honey. Well, before I close, I just want to say, if you haven't subscribed to my videos, please do. Please do so now. Um, subscribe. Please subscribe to my videos. And thanks to all those who watched my Raheem Devon video. It is now over 6,000 views. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you want to follow me on Twitter, hit me up www.twitter.com slash Mr. Underscore Still Standing Without the G. If you want to hit her up, please hit her up at www.twitter.com slash Miss Hello Kitty. No, no, no O in the hello, but the zero in the hello. If you don't understand what I'm saying, I'll post it at the end of the video. Peace, love, and hair grease, you bitches. We out.